All right, pay attention. Look at this play right here. The up and under doesn't work for him. Bill Russell gets fouled, thrown to the ground by Magic Johnson. Or not? Bill Russell fouled Magic Johnson there? What? Bruh. Let's take another look. Magic Johnson tackles him to the ground. And that's called on Bill Russell. Oh my lord. It's going to be a long day. It's going to be a long day when plays like that keep happening. What's going on, guys? Shake and bake back. And as you saw from the first clip, they're trying to make me lose. Maybe it's not trying to make me lose, but still. I thought the call was very strange. I don't get how that was called on Bill Russell. But I'm done complaining. As you can see, we got Magic Johnson versus Magic Johnson. And early on, point one to me as I blow right by his Magic Johnson. But... He's going to try and match me right there with the nice up and under. So now it's, I guess we'll say it's tied 1-1 with the Mad Johnsons. And he's going to try and make it 2-1 right here. Again with a nice up and under hop step move. Oh my. It's just one of those games that I don't really enjoy. But I know I have to do what I got to do. And it's Magic Johnson on one end and Magic Johnson on the other. He's so impossibly hard to guard when he's doing those up and unders and those hop steps and those jump hooks. It is, it's just like ridiculously hard. That's all I'm going to say on that. But we are playing a subscriber, Iwashi. I did chat with him after the game. So that's kind of cool. I always like to play a subscriber. So shout out to him. And early on, we find Dell. Not really a good look. So let's pass it up. And we get a better shot with Tim Hardaway, which we do knock down. I, I, I think in this game, I really show that I'm getting better at passing the ball around and finding better looks. But again, I got to defend Magic Johnson. And that is not easy, especially with Tim Hardaway in the game. Because I was subbing my guys around. I like to keep my subs in there. And early on, we get a nice steal. And John Starks, you know he's going to throw it down. There we go, Starks. That's why I love him. Explosive, and he can finish at the rim. And we get LeBron to miss there. A rare miss. But still, Dwight Howard is an animal on the boards. He just grabs that rebound. Now we get a nice little fast break opportunity. Pushing the tempo. And Bill Russell gets that easy bucket down low. But still, you see, this is a close game. We get a nice forced opportunity right here against Del Curry. He puts up that bad three-point attempt. So we're going the other way. I don't see anything, so I decide to kick it back out. Work the ball around. And again, once you work the ball around, you find open shots. And right there, he was jumping. So we got a nice, a, a pretty good look with uh, Tim Hardaway right there for three. And right here, we're taking a look at my defense. I am playing the 3-2. Kind of roaming around with Bill Russell, trying to get those stops, trying to force him into missed layup animations because he was really cutting hard. And this ends up to us getting a little bit of a lead before halftime. Right here again, you'll see we're up 30 to 26. So I'm going to try and hop step. Everyone says the hop step move with Larry is great. We don't get it, but Dennis Rodman has been a beast on the boards. He is insane with the putbacks, and he gets it right there. But with five seconds left, he made a little bit of a comeback. And look at this dunk! Oh my goodness, Dominique Wilkins puts Larry Bird on the poster right there, and he goes into half up one, and he's still getting these nice up and unders with uh, Magic Johnson, and it's like, oh goodness gracious, this game, it, it's slowly slipping away from me, so I come back down, I try and give him some of his own cheese, and we give him that nice hook shot off the fake, I love that move right there, that's one of the, the best looking moves in the game, and again, He's playing stupid. He's got Dwight Howard taking the ball up. So I just dip, I just take the ball away and get an easy bucket with Kendall Gill right there. So we're now winning by two. We're playing good defense. And still, Larry Bird hits a nasty step back jumper right in my face for three. Whew, that's a good shot. I can appreciate that. That's just pretty basketball moves right there. And again, I'm trying to get that ball inside to Dennis Rodman. And he's going to finish all day. I really love Dennis Rodman. He's got to be my favorite actual power forward I've used in this game. But you'll see right there, we did manage to work the ball around again from Dennis Rodman. When we get it to him in the post, everybody collapse on him. We get wide open threes. Again, we get a nice open three. And we knock it down Matt Johnson. That's his 1-3 game. And if you have him or if you used him, you probably know what I mean. He usually gets at least 1-3 a game off. And it usually goes in. I mean, I, I really like that about him. It's a lot better than a couple of the point guards who just can't knock down the three. I don't know why, but he just seems like he knocks it down. So as you see right here, we are going into the fourth quarter. There's a few seconds left, 
And we find Starks again. Starks goes on a nice little run right there. Scores five points and gives us the nice lead. But with two seconds left, the full court pass to Del Curry. Oh my goodness. Cuts the lead to four. That is, oh my, that's frustrating. That is not, not, not what I like to do. Uh, but we do get a nice three coming back into the fourth with Tim Hardaway. Trying to keep alive the three ball. Trying to make sure we don't let him just cut this deficit down. And early on, he's still hitting those threes. Three minutes left. I'm still trying to push the tempo, though. Because he's trying to steal the inbounds. And that's what you've got to do. You've got to keep this a fast-paced game. We get the ball to Robinson. We get it to Hardaway. And he misses another wide-open shot. Oh, goodness. You cannot be missing that. And now he's going to get it to LeBron. You already know LeBron's going to finish that layup. He very rarely misses those. We got one miss in the first half from him. And again, he's still coming back. He hits that nice three right there, right in my eye. So it's a seven-point ball game. And then he hits another three-pointer in my face. Look at this. I was so frustrated at the time. Look at this. My hand is up in his face, and he still knocks it down. So it's a four-point ball game. We get another bucket. And now, Del Curry time. Del Curry goes off. You can't guard him that close because he'll blow right by you, especially when he's playing man-to-man. -man. You have to play a zone against Del Curry, in my opinion. 3-2, it, it works so good because you can play up close, but you have the help behind. And speaking of help behind, we get Wilt Chamberlain who gets the steal. And then we lose the ball, but Del gets it back and he finishes again. Del's going off. He ends the game right there. But with 15 seconds left, we add insult to injury as Del Curry gets a steal. And Alley Oop alert! Bill Russell with the 360! Oh my goodness! That Alley Oop was so sweet. And I even he even messaged me after the game. He's like, yo, that Alley Oop though. That thing was nasty. And uh yeah, I just that was awesome. That was a good way to end the game and end the win. We now move to five and one. We now need four wins. We're more than halfway there. This is what I'm talking about. And look at this alley-oop. We get another quick look at it. Woo! Bill Russell with the mid-air 360 spin. And look at that. Nice overall good game from uh, Del Curry. 5-1 and one now. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like this video and let me know what you thought down below. Peace.